Hello everyone, today's video I will be showing you how to do the striped uh, manicure that I've done in a previous uh, manicure. This is the request of a subscriber. I'll be using Gel 2 Royalty and True Gel Marshmallow. What we're going to do here now is go ahead and lighten up the darker blue to create the lighter blue that will be on the outside uh, stripes of the nails. And to do this, one drop of the darker blue. And to that, I will add four drops of the white. Now, of course, this is my preference. You can certainly uh, adjust the amount of white to lighten it to your preference. I'm just going to take the back of my uh, brush and mix that. You want to make sure that all that white is mixed in really well. Now all this stirring will cause air bubbles so you might want to let that sit for a few minutes before applying it onto the nail. I will be working on a swatch stick since my manicure is already done. We'll clean that brush off, get our swatch stick, and I have an old brush from a sample bottle of polish that um, I cleaned, and now we're just dipping that into our lightened polish. One thin coat. This layer will not be cured just yet. Um, we're going to carve out that center section with our brush. The reason why I prefer this method, and again I've said this before, I don't like the bumpiness that you get from the additional layers that you would have by painting that center stripe on two coats of the light blue so that's why I carve out that center section you'll get a completely smooth finish if you do this. We're just going to use some isopropyl alcohol I have in my pump container and the e.l.f. concealer brush. Shorter stiffer bristles this makes for a good tool to carve out that center section. So again, you'll dip in the alcohol, blot. You do not want this to be saturated, the brush, otherwise that alcohol will spread into the rest of the polish and you don't want that. So again, we'll just carve out that center section, a little bit more alcohol, and then we'll perfect those side lines. If you find that you have taken too much, you can go back and repaint it and redo it. And we're going to go cure this for 30 seconds in the LED lamp. And now we're ready to do our second coat. No need to be exact when painting over the light blue area there. Again, you can remove any excess with the brush and alcohol, which is what I'll do here. It helps to have the line there previously from our first layer to guide you. Alright, that's ready to go ahead and cure. Again, 30 seconds in an LED lamp. If you have a UV lamp, it would be two minutes. Now we're ready for the darker blue. Yeah, you'll just paint that right down the center. Now 
Again, you don't have to be 100% neat on this. And we'll just clean up off the light blue areas there. Now, if you feel this is just too much work to get a stripe down the center of your nail, you're certainly welcome to paint it over your layers of light blue. But I personally, personally like to have my uh, layers completely even. Now, I did kind of take a little bit too much away off the sides of that one side. So, again, I just went in, repainted that layer. And now we're ready to cure. And second layer of the dark blue. And that's ready to cure. Okay, we're ready to stamp. Now there's two ways that you can do this. You can use scotch tape to block off that light blue area or my preferred method to use non-acetone uh, remover to clean up with our brush after you stamp. Now the tape method, um, I find that the scotch tape can be a little too tacky so I'll just remove some of the tackiness from the tape before I'd apply to the nail. I have had the scotch tape leave residue sometimes on my manicure so that's the reason why I do this. Now you're just going to cover up, butt up that tape right next to that dark blue line covering blue, the light blue. And I'm just going to do one side to show you um, both ways uh, that can be done. I'm going to use one of my Dashika plates and we're going to use that kind of flourish scroll design there. My extra large squishy stamper and Essie's No Place Like Chrome. I do really like this silver for uh, stamping, however you do have to work relatively quickly with it. It does dry pretty, pretty fast once you actually scrape the plate. Now again, we're stamping this over the nail that has the sticky layer removed. You do not want to stamp over the sticky layer. So there you see the stamp is, I've got it on the sides there on the blue. And on the side where the tape is, you simply remove the tape and it's clean on that side. There's a few little bits that were left over, but we can take care of that. Now this is my preferred method for cleaning. Taping off can take a little bit more time than just using this method right here. Again, we'll just take some, make sure it's non acetone, not full strength acetone. Just place some in the cap using your stiff bristle brush again. You're simply going to remove the excess stamp on the side.
All right, at this point, I'm going to take my silver glitter striper. I think I picked this up at Sally's. It's almost like a foil-like finish, which goes nicely with that no place like chrome. And we're just going to stripe a line down each side of that dark blue line. If you find you haven't been 100% precise with your striping, as I wasn't, some of it's a little thicker on some parts of that line, you can again come in with your non-acetone and just clean up that line. And that's finished. We're going to let that dry. Once that's dried, we'll come back and put a top coat. And just use some gelish to top it off here. Again, any top coat will work, whatever you would like to use. One or two layers, depending on your preference. If you're going to add embellishments, you might want to do two layers. And there is your finished nail. I hope you have found the tutorial helpful. Any suggestions or comments, go ahead and leave them down there at the bottom for me. Or visit me at my blog. And until next time, I will see you later.